What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video brought to you by Cards Are. I'm Luke. Uh, we're going to do it a little different tonight. We're going to have a smorgasbord of things that we've done in the past, mix it all together. If you watch Mail Time, you've seen different stuff that I've brought in. Um, also, you've seen us do breaks, or, or not really breaks, but ripping boxes. Today, we'll be ripping three hobby boxes of 2019 Panini Legacy. Uh, fun little set that brings the old and the new. We'll also do a live reveal of Mail Time and also show you guys a few things that I picked up from my PC or even stuff that is available for sale too. Um, real quick, as you can see right there, hopefully, I believe it should reverse itself once this video goes to YouTube. But that is our eBay and Instagram username, cards are C A R D S C Z A R. So please follow us on both Instagram and eBay. Right now, we have stuff for sale on eBay. The goal really is for us to not have that much longer as the website hopefully gets built up soon. Uh, still working on it, a lot of bugs that go into uh, or have to be fixed in a website that we're learning the hard way. Um, but currently right now we have over 10,000 different products for sale at what will eventually be www.cardzar.com. So once that website's live, we'll announce all that on Facebook, all that on Instagram. Um, I'm also going to start a new venture I guess you want to say or I'm going to start a new um, I don't really know what the word is here but basically it's going to be a posted day on Instagram at least where I'm just posting as much as possible giving you guys more and more content um, as well, not only just announcements but different cool cards that I've picked up um, you know cards I'm adding to my PC uh, so like for example you know if I pick up this nice DJ Moore card from Panini One uh, you know, that's something that I'll, I plan on posting here. A guy who I think is going to have a breakout second year. I got this thanks to Jim Younts at 603 Cardboard. Check him out. Um, they do some weekly auctions on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Picked that up for a great price. Also picked up this DJ Moore Select RPA. This one's numbered 42 of 49. Uh, great looking card. Again, I think he's going to have a monster season this year as the number one wide receiver. Um, and I guess we'll just get right into some of the things I've picked up before we break into the 2019 legacy. Um, Dion Lewis, I'm a big Dion Lewis fan, Patriot fan, as you guys know, hence the, the Gronk's uh, autograph ball there, as well as the Man Cave sign. Um, I think this is actually Dion Lewis's only card autographed as a Patriot. So I, I saw this online. He's really cheap because he's Dion Lewis and he doesn't really bring much to the table, but I like him. I recently brought in a Mike Evans autograph, first one I've had. I got that from one of Jim's auctions over at 603 Cardboard, as well as Sterling Shepard's RPA. Uh, you know, as I've mentioned in past videos, the way I collect is I want to get an autograph of every player that I like. And I like Sterling Shepard, and National Treasures is one of the best cards you can get. That's numbered 82 of 99, so a low number card. Uh, Dion Lewis Tops Chrome. I like shiny cards. Uh, of course, that's him in an Eagles jersey, but that's all right. Terry Rozier, uh, Celtics autograph. This one's numbered to 99. I cornered the market on this one, picked up a bunch of them uh, on eBay, pretty cheap. I think he leaves the Celtics this year and goes on elsewhere or next season and has a breakout year. And uh, if that's the case, I think that card is going to pay huge dividends for me. Sebastian Janikowski, press pass. So I'm not huge into college, as I'll mention later on as we get into the legacy uh, break, but... Sebastian Janikowski, I mean, how can you beat him? I was a Florida State fan growing up. Uh, he was one of the best kickers of all time. I got this from the DC Sports 87 eBay auction. Uh, must have for me, so I have to pick it up. And as well as this one, Peja Stojakovic, on-card auto, cornerstones, number to 129, four-patch. At You know, Peja, MVP season a few, uh, back in the, the early 2000s, or he should have won an MVP, but that didn't happen. Um, but again, just things that need to add to my PC. Uh, and I'm going to do a live break some stuff that I, I don't even remember what this is so this will be interesting um that's always fun so let's see here plain white envelope fantastic that's sarcasm right there uh ito smith rookie autograph on card auto i got this for like five bucks uh, it's actually priced out at five bucks uh i think that this is going to be a a winner for me um ito smith atlanta falcons Tevin Coleman's obviously gone. Devonta Freeman, I think he'll be back this year, but there's no guarantee. Um, Ito Smith, you know, is the number two running back in Atlanta. They always run a two-back system, so I think that this eventually, this on-card contenders auto uh, could be a winner for me if he does break out. So 
Ito Smith, along with another player I think I'm going to get here today, um, is a guy that I'm picking up right now along with DJ Moore. Second-year players, so you're starting to see their value dip a little bit just because the rookie fever for 2019. Some of the 2018 guys get thrown by the wayside. And, you know, look at Patrick Mahomes. Um, you could have got his stuff for cheap in the offseason, and then it, it, it paid dividends, obviously, um, once he finally broke out. Now, obviously, with Mahomes, it's a little bit different. He's a quarterback, and... Um, an article that you're going to see at cardsar.com when it's live is is you know guys to invest in and, and Ito Smith is on there as well as a couple at least one other player I'm about to pick up I think from this one um, and again they're not quarterbacks so they're not going to be super high value but it's still worth it in the end I think as long as you get a 20 to 40 percent return on your investment or even 100 percent if it's a five dollar card you sell for 10 bucks you walk away happy so uh, this one is. He's asking me to leave feedback, even though, uh, again, a plain white envelope, which is disappointing considering I probably paid shipping on this. Um, Tom Brady, Trey Flowers, X's and O's, blue, number to 175. So if you guys follow cards are, and again, you see the Patriots sign up there, I PC Tom Brady. Just recently picked up a 400-card lot, or 900-card lot of Tom Brady. Um had a lot of them already, so it just it increased my um, total collection to 950-ish unique Tom Brady cards, and I have this box full of duplicates that I hope to uh, sell at a local show. If you're interested in Tom Brady, hit me up. I got plenty for you. Um, but this one is, like I said, like my 950th unique Tom Brady card. I got it for like six bucks, so I don't blame the guy for not, you know, it was on auction, uh, so I don't blame him for for sending in a plain white envelope, but it is disappointing. But this is number to 175 in the Contenders Optics set, and remember, those were you know, 140 bucks a pop, and I think you get like six cards. So the fact that I got a Tom Brady card number to 175 for six bucks is a great deal, whether it's uh, whether it's shipped in a plain white envelope or not. But let's see this what this last one is here. I think this is one of my favorite breakout candidates this year, but we'll see if I can get this thing open. Hold on a second. Let's see here. Of course, double package. All right. So it's annoying when it's double packed. At the same time, it's good. You 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 want it to be. Better safe than sorry, I guess. So, I believe this is, yep, James Washington, Phoenix. So, James Washington, another guy. This is number 208 to 249. Another player that I'm trying to pick up wherever I can because with Antonio Brown gone to Oakland, um, it's like 1,600 yards worth of production. That's up, up for grabs. Obviously, Juju Smith-Schuster is the number one, but Big Ben has shown that he can support multiple players um, in in um, Pittsburgh, that's a city. So I like James Washington. Have a huge breakout year. I got this car for like six bucks. Six bucks. You know, Juju Smith Schuster. Imagine his RPA is what they're going for right now. If this guy can produce like Juju can, no brainer. So I have a I think probably, probably six or seven of his RPAs right now, um, and I'm hoping that's going to be a good return on investment. So that's what I got so far. Uh, follow us on eBay. Follow us on Instagram at Cardsar. I uh, don't have a ton on eBay right now. However, what I do have is pretty solid. Uh, let's see if I can find that right now. Um, so right now listed on eBay, we have Rashad Penny RPA from Contenders, Christian McCaffrey number to 100. We have a Tom Brady Panini Honors. I'm going to hold that off for a second for a reason. Uh, Antonio Brown, Bowman, Bowman Sterling rookie. Calvin Ridley RPA or rookie auto number to 15. Uh, Nick Chubb select XRC, Sean Taylor. Stephon Diggs, two Mahomes prestige rookies, Mahomes Father's Day number 399, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, let's see here. We got an Odell Beckham, one of one printing plate. is sold. We have a couple Tom Brady SP Authentics from 2002. Um, another Mahomes rookie card. And Christian McCaffrey select purple number 49. So everything that I have up for sale, you make an offer. So please, I will take a look at any offer. I won't accept every offer, but I'll take a look at any offer. And then we have Kyrie Irving RPA. Or not an RPA, but a, a patch auto number to 49 so or 25 So if you see anything you like, make an offer. If not, no sweat. Um, but hey, let's break into Legacy. So I wasn't going to um, get Legacy this year. Um, so Legacy is basically taking over Classics. And Classics was a 300-card set, I believe, with um, 20 or 100 veterans and 200 uh current players or maybe it's 100 and 100 i'm not sure but um now these players are in the college uniforms so not great but 
still a cool set. You know, we're guaranteed uh, two autographs, ten parallels, ten um, rookie or not ten rookies, ten inserts, and I think like thirty-two rookies. So in this box, you are getting let's see here, eight cards per pack, sixteen packs per box. Let's do some quick mental math. That's one hundred and twenty-eight cards. So a lot of good base cards out of here, um, but uh, you know. It, so it took over Classic, and Classic really didn't do very well resale-wise. And, you know, I don't know, really know why, because I thought it was a pretty solid set. But, um, you know, it is lower value. Um, a lot of players in college uniforms, which guys don't like, or collectors don't like. But, or some collectors at least. But this year, uh, I've seen a Barry Sanders autograph pull. I've seen a Dan Marino autograph pulled. So they're, they're trying to dig back and get all the vets who will bring in big money. So... Maybe it's a change for the better this year. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So we're going to get right into this. This is box one, and this is a fat pack. So we're going to say that till, till the end. You know, because this isn't a break, this is just ripping, I can do that. Um, but let's get into this real quick here. So let's go. So as you guys will know, um, or just so you know, these cards will be available on cardsar.com when available. Um, and I collect... Patriots, so I might keep some of the Patriots, but that's all right. So we got Drew Brees. Let's see here. There we go. There we go. We have Zeke Elliott, Adam Humphreys, Travis Kelsey, Eric Dickerson, Legacy or Legends. Uh, we got Josh Allen, Orange, number to 199. How are we going to do this? All right. There we go. Boom. First rookie, Cleveland Farrell, who I believe is a first-round pick, and Terry McLaurin out of Ohio State. So, again, since they are not in their pro jerseys, I apologize if I get these wrong. However, or their actual team's wrong. Um, now, I'm not a huge college fan, but uh, I'll do my best. All right, David Johnson, Tariq Cohen, Matthew Stafford, Doug Baldwin, who is now retired, unfortunately. Um, but that's all right. Let's see, we got Rodney Hampton, who for some reason I loved him growing up. I really don't know why, but I did. Out of Alabama, we have Mac Wilson. This is number 299. We have Gardner Minshew II, who I've never heard of whatsoever. Mac Wilson, also out of Bama. So, again, some of the issues with getting um, this early stuff, which is just um, a lot of, you know, try to get as many rookies out as possible, even if they don't get drafted. That is, you know, sometimes you run into that, um, which can be frustrating because, especially with autographs, that's why I actually don't like to, uh, contenders draft because I feel like they just throw out um, autographs of, of absolute no-names who will never do anything in the pros. So Odell Beckham, the newest Cleveland Brown, Vaughn Miller, Leonard Fournette, Christian Kirk. We have a J.J. Watt Optichrome. Let's see Terry Bradshaw, Lasting Legacies. Devin White out of LSU, and Josh Jacobs out of Bama. Josh Jacobs is the new starting running back. It look, at least it looks that way uh, in Oakland. They did re-sign Doug Martin after um, Isaiah Crowell tore his Achilles. But uh, Jacobs is the favorite to be the starting running back in Oakland this year. And if that's the case, then he will also uh, be a very big guy in fantasy football, too. So keep an eye out for him if you play fantasy. George Kittle, T.Y. Hilton, Dalvin Cook. Joe Mixon, Ed Reed, uh, Devin Hester record book. So Devin Hester was one of the most career punt returns for touchdowns, Most one of the most electrifying players I ever saw. We have David Stills, the fifth, and then we have David Montgomery out of uh, Iowa State. I believe David Montgomery will be the starting running back in Chicago, so another good player to keep an eye on. Okay. <clears throat> so we have Devonta Freeman, Kenny Stills, Marshawn Lynch, Aaron Rodgers, Andre Reed, uh, Larry Fitzgerald, yellow, number to 165, Ja'Kai Polite out of Florida, and Byron Murphy out of Washington. So, so far, nothing great. Uh, but like I said, we do have the fat pack sitting here, so we'll see. All right. Andy Dalton, Sam Darnold, Mike Evans, Spencer Ware, Robert Smith Legend, Derwin James Legacy, one of my favorite rookies from last year. I've picked up a few of his autos. Ryan Finley out of NC State and A.J. Brown. Now, the reason why I wanted to keep, actually, the Tom Brady Panini Honors out here is take a look at, whoops, take a look at the design. Very, very similar. Even take the Optichrome out, 
Just very similar, just very blah by Panini. That was my one reason why I actually almost didn't pick up Legacy this year. I thought the design was pretty, pretty crap. Um, but, you know, I hadn't ripped in a while, and uh, I figured, hey, let's spend a few bucks and make some content. So here we go. Been a minute since we posted a video, so it's about time. All right, James Conner, DeAndre Hopkins, LaShawn McCoy. We have Adam Thielen, Optochrome Red, number to 100. It's a beautiful looking card. I'll give you that. I did I did just dog the uh, design, but I, I like that Optochrome. I'm a big fan of Optochrome. We have John Taylor, Legends, Tim Brown, Timeless Talents, Alex Brown out of Kansas State, Noah Fant out of Iowa. Noah Fant, I believe, was drafted to be the starting tight end in Denver. So that's a good landing spot for him. Joe Flacco loves his tight ends. All right, Matt Ryan, Kenyon Drake, Terrell Suggs, Tom Brady. There's my guy, the GOAT. So I'll set that aside for myself. That's another addition to my uh, growing collection. Kellen Winslow Legends. Let's not talk about his son, who's hoo -hoo, interesting character. David Johnson, number to 199. Caleb Wilson, rookie. And Rashawn Gary, rookie. Rashawn Gary, I can't remember where he went. He dropped in the draft, I believe, due to a heart issue, which is pretty crazy. All right, Kyle Long, Jamal Adams, Baker Mayfield. That's I like Baker. Love Baker. Michael Bennett, he's a Patriot. I'll set that aside. Troy Aikman, Kyle Rudolph for the ages. Irv Smith Jr., tight end, who's probably going to take over Kyle Rudolph. Nick Bosa, two good, two first round picks here. Actually, uh, I'm sorry, Irv was a uh, second round pick, but Nick Bosa, second overall pick to the 49ers. He's already dealing with a hamstring issue, which is par for the course for the Bosa boys. But, um, you know, it happens. We'll see if he can pan out. That defense needs him, that's for sure. Adrian Peterson, Redskins, Jared Goff, Jamal Williams, Derek Henry. We have Daryl Henderson from Memphis, who is been drafted, I believe, by the um, the Rams. Uh, issues with Todd Gurley's knee, but that's an Optochrome card, so that could be a nice card eventually. That would be something you'd actually probably want to sit on for a year or two, because right now it's not going to have much uh, value. But in a few years, if he takes over Todd Gurley, that could be a huge card. Lasting legacies, uh, Ed Reed. Dwayne Haskins, rookie out of Ohio State, who is the new Redskins quarterback. And Kyler Murray. Nice. Number one overall pick to the Arizona Cardinals. I still think they shouldn't have drafted him. I think they should have taken uh, built around the quarterback, considering how bad the offensive line is, uh, or maybe help that defense a little bit. But uh, and, and kept Josh Rosen, but they decided to trade Josh Rosen um, to the Miami Dolphins for a second round pick. So if we end up getting Andy Il Isabella's card, that'll be the guy that he was traded for. Um, so we'll make mention of that. So I'm going to put Haskins and Kyler into some top loaders here because of their value so far. So probably the top two quarterbacks. Don't talk to me about Daniel Jones. The guy stinks. He went before Haskins, but I think these are the two number the best quarterbacks in the in the draft this year. And as I mentioned at the top of this quarterback cell, which whatever. Stupid, but it is what it is. All right. Luke Keekley, Michael Thomas, Philip Rivers, Josh Allen again, Bart Scott Legends, Tony Saragusa, of the Goose Legends, number two one hundred, Devin Bush. And Deontay Thompson out of Bama. A lot of Alabama guys in this draft. A lot of good defensive players. Now, this is an interesting year for, for cards in general just because I don't know how many guys are going to uh, really you know stack up when it's all said and done on the offensive side of the ball. Obviously, offensive players sell much better than defensive players. So, Sony Michelle, my guy, I'll set him aside. Saquon. One of the best rookie running backs of last year. We have Phil Lindsay, who was also a great rookie running back last year. I think we have our first hit. Yep, Cleveland Farrell, number 250, 38 out of 50. I think, you know what? Cleveland Farrell was a, uh, got drafted by the Raiders very, very early. I think it was like fourth overall or something. I'll look that up real quick. Neil Anderson, Legends. We have Zeke Elliott. Um, this is for the ages. Riley Ridley out of Georgia. Brothers of Calvin Ridley. Riley Ridley's a bear. And then Ed Oliver to Houston. He was a high pick, too. Yeah, to the um, the Bills. That's it. 
so yeah, Cleveland Farrell went fourth overall. Uh, so that's actually that's actually a pretty big card. Now I think about it. Um, you know, while he was a little bit overrated or overdrafted, I should say, still fourth overall is nothing to 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 sneeze at. And um, you know, fourth overall last year I believe was Bradley Chubb. He sold pretty well. Uh, so first hit right here, Cleveland Farrell Gold number to fifty. So nice card. I'm pretty happy with that. Be interested to see if I get my value back with this with this box. I don't I don't think I will. Um, I don't. It's hard to get your value back nowadays, but it is what it is. We do it for the love of the game, right? Todd Gurley, Mitchell Trubisky, Russell Wilson, Nick Foles, Sony Michelle Optichrome. So that's nice. I like that. Uh, it's got a silver prism to it as well, so I think that's probably an Optichrome parallel. I have to look that up real quick. Lejord. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Lil Jordan. His name is Lil Jordan. What a name. What a name. Forget what team he's from, but Lil Jordan. I actually absolutely love that name. Here's Lil Jordan's base. The one before this uh, is number 165, yellow. Um, but Lil, double Lil Jordan's there. And Devin Singletary, rookie. So uh, real quick, let's see if I can see if the Optichrome, what the deal is with that. So rookie red, base premium. Premium edition. Uh, yep, comes in the silver, it looks like. So, yeah, decent. I like it. Sony Michelle, I'll take it. That's my PC. That's one of those things where if you really wanted Sony Michelle and you and you see this video and you want that card, it's definitely available. Um, but for the time being, I'll probably set it aside. Just being a Patriots honk that I am. Eli Manning, Joe Flacco, Julio Jones, Kirk Cousins, Peyton Manning Legends, uh, record book Odell Beckham Jr. They're gonna say, let's see here. Rookie receiving record. God, the Bears or the uh, Giants are stupid for trading him. Josh Allen out of Kentucky. Different Josh Allen this year. He got drafted by the uh, Jaguars and made that defense even more scary. And Jonathan Abraham out of Mississippi State. Down to two more packs. Let's see. Okay. All right. Jimmy Garoppolo. My guy. Marlon Mack. AJ Green, Derek Carr, Warren Moon, Legends, Timeless Talents, Bo Jackson, one of my favorite players of all time, another Daryl Henderson, we have Montez Sweat. All right, so we're going to get into the fat pack here, see what we get. Hoping for a banger. Got a nice thick card in here, that's for sure. We'll do that last. Okay. Melvin Gordon, Cam Newton, Devontae Adams, John Elway, another one of my guys. There we go. Randy Moss, record book, most touchdowns in the season. I love Randy Moss. Julian Love, rookie. Jarrett Stidham, who I think is one of my, uh, think the future in New England. We'll see. We'll see. And then, whoa. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh, I was curious. I'm going to make my money back. Ladies and gentlemen, I did Damien Harris, 4 out of 10. Look at that patch. A chunky three-color patch. Damien Harris, a New England Patriot. I like that. This might be something that I have to uh, try to sell off. We got pink crystals. Holy crap, that's a beautiful card. Wow. Wow. Hopefully you guys can see that, the detail in that patch. 4 out of 10. Mint, mint card. That is beautiful. Bama fans are going to love this. <whistles> nice. I mean, I don't even know what, how to value this card. i got to look at some comps on this one. This is probably a, I don't know, $60, $70 card maybe? 4 out of 10? Woo! So this is funny. Now I'm kind of torn right now because... As a Patriot, so this was my biggest issue with cards are, is I want to collect everything. I'm a collector when it comes down to it. I love collecting sports cards. I love collecting players' cards that I like. I see Damien Harris. He's a Patriot. I want it. I mean, this will probably do well at my local show. I'll probably end up moving it, like I said, because I, I really am starting to cut down my PC a little bit. Um, if this was me a few years ago, I'd have a hard time getting rid of the Kyler Murray base rookie, let alone this Damian Harris. But, ooh, 
That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. So, like I said, I plan on doing an Instagram post a day. This will probably be leading that charge for that. So, um, two autos from the first box, Cleveland Farrell and now Damien Harris. Two very good autos. We get two of the best rookies in Kyler Murray and Dwayne Haskins. Uh, those are the big ones. And then I got my Tom Brady. I got my uh, Sony Michels. And I got my Jarrett Stidham rookie as well as my... Uh, my Randy Moss record book. So I'm happy with that box. Like I said, it was saved thanks to that beautiful, beautiful Damian Harris. Uh, but the fun's just beginning, ladies and gentlemen. We got two more hobby boxes to go through. Um, yeah, I, I kind of went into this set doubting it a little bit. You know, again, there's a lot of rookies where I was like, who the hell is this guy? Um, I wanted to pay more attention to college football this year, but when you got a two-year-old... It's very challenging. So, um, you know, we'll see. They could turn to studs. I love Jared Stidham for the Patriots. Uh, you know, I'm trying to be biased here, but he was actually one of the best quarterbacks coming out of high school and then struggled in the uh, in college. So he dropped to the fourth round, which the Patriots got him. I think that could be a steal. It could be uh, Belichick's reclamation project. So, not booze. That's Sam Pellegrino. I'm, I'm pretty basic like that. Um had a birthday party for my two-year-old this weekend. Had a ton of leftover drinks, so I'm going to uh, drink that, not stay apart. So let's see if we got any fat packs here. I don't see any. Ah, uh, this one might be. Eh, no, I don't think so. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go through them. Let's just rip them, folks. You know, let's just rip them. So if everybody had a great Memorial Day weekend. Uh, we had beautiful weather up here in New Hampshire. Unfortunately, uh, today, that weather is not beautiful, So, but it is what it is. So Odell Beckham Jr., Vaughn Miller. Let's see if we get a little better view here. We got Josh Allen. We have James White, Patriot. I'll set that aside for myself, and I'll decide what I want to do with it. Earl Campbell, Legends. Uh, Bruce Smith, most career sacks. And then once again, thank you for this, Panini. Dwayne Haskins and Kyler Murray. Hey, I don't love when they do re repetitive stuff like that, but if it's going to get me Kyler Murray and Dwayne Haskins, <laughs> I'll take it. So that's two Kyler Murrays, two Dwayne Haskins. I'm okay with that. I mean, those are probably, yeah, I don't know. You could probably list them on eBay, the Kyler for $9.99, and probably list the... Uh, the Haskins for $7.99, best offer. These will probably go on cards are. I'd say the Kyler is going to go on as a $6 card, and the Haskins will go on a $4 card. As you guys know, um, everything $3 and above ships in a top loader. Anything $2.99 or less will ship in a penny sleeve, and you have the option for $0.25 cents to pay for a top loader. Up to you. I suggest it. Protect your investment. We have George Kittle. We have T.Y. Hilton. We have Dak Prescott, Mahomes, the 2018 MVP, Brian Dawkins, Legends. Uh, we have Byron Murphy, number two, 199. Let's do this. Here we go. Devin Bush, the second. Uh, where the rookies go? There we go. Deontay Thompson out of Bama. Yeah, that, uh, that pink crystals, that's one of the best cards I've pulled in a long time. All right, we have Devonta Freeman, Kenny Stills, Justin Tucker, Donta Hightower, Super Bowl champion, Donta Hightower, T.Y. Hilton, Optichrome Silver. Ooh, it's pretty. Tim Brown, a lot of timeless talents. Then we have uh, J.J. Arcega Whiteside, good potential player. Um, should be could be the number one wide receiver in uh, Philadelphia when it's all said and done. And then Daniel Jones, I was dogging him earlier. Don't love the player. Uh, sixth overall pick by the Giants. Uh, I don't know what the hell they were thinking. They probably could have got him at 17 or whatever pick they had that they got from the Browns. Uh, but sixth overall pick, the heir apparent to Eli Manning apparently. That'll I, that goes on the website for three bucks, and I think that's a, a no-brainer for you if you believe in the player. Personally, I don't, but that's just me. Uh, but you know what's fun about cards are is 
you know, you're going to get a lot of information about the players here, especially about this one guy who uh, we're about to talk about. I see his back of his card here. Um, but, you know, I, I do love football. Um, I love fantasy football, so I can tell you about all the players pretty much. And, you know, like I said, I don't know a ton about college, but eventually I do get to know the players when they go to the pros. So I will be happy to talk about all that. This is Andy Dalton here. Sam Darnold, Nick Chubb, great player last year. Be interested to see how it works out with him and Kareem Hunt uh, when Hunt's back from suspension. We have Alshon Jeffrey. Let's see here. We have Walt Garrison. It actually looks like there's a little bit of an error here. The foil didn't pick up on his name, so that's kind of annoying, Panini, but it's all right. Aaron Rodgers for the ages. TJ Hawkinson, first-round pick by the Detroit Lions. And then Bryce Love, this guy's mentioning. So Bryce Love is one of the best running backs in college football last year. Tore his ACL in the bowl game. Uh, did not not run at the combine. Fell in the draft, obviously. I think he got drafted in like the fifth round by the um, Washington Redskins, I believe. So they have him and Darius Geis. So that will that could he could end up being pretty good. Uh, Sony Michelle, another one. So we'll put that there. Todd Gurley. We have Aaron Jones, who should be the number one running back in Green Bay this year. Marcus Mariota. Eric Metcalf, Legends. Drew Brees Green, number 200. And I mentioned um, the guy who was traded for Josh Rosen, essentially, Andy Isabella. That's his rookie card. And here is his teammate in Arizona, Hakeem Butler. So two guys who have a potential to step into a pretty big spot. Um, Cliff Kingsbury's offense, he's the new head coach in Arizona, is a high-flying offense. And there's a really good chance that those two could have huge roles early on playing behind Christian Kirk and uh, learning behind the legend and future Hall of Famer uh, Larry Fitzgerald. So Mitch Trubisky, Tyree Kill. I don't want to talk about him too much because he's a dirtbag. We have Tremaine Edmonds. First hit in the box, Terry McLaurin, Ohio State autograph. Nice silver there. I'm not too sure where he went. Um, if it was a house state, it's pretty early though. Emmett Smith Legends. Oh, here we go. Back to back Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith Lasting Legends. Nikhil Harry, one of my favorite rookies. Again, Patriot weird, but I love that move by them. And then Drew Locke, uh, second round pick, I believe, drafted by the Denver Broncos. So Terry McLaren, very curious where he went. Just bear with me one second. Google knows all. Terry McLaren. So, wide receiver, Washington Redskins. Uh, let's see here. He, third round. So, decent. I mean, they need wide receivers there in Washington. Uh, Josh Dawson did not pan out as expected, to say the, to say the least. So, McLaren, autograph. Nice little card there. All right, so we have one more hit in this box. Yeah, Nikhil Harry. I mean, he's already playing with Brady or uh, or, or practicing with Brady. I'm, I'm very excited about that pick. If you actually look at his combine stats, very similar to Des Bryant, very similar size, speed, strength. I mean, it's uh, scary how close they are. As long as he can – if he can be half of what Des Bryant was during his prime, I'm happy with that his rookie year. But uh, Eli Manning, Giants. Joe Flacco. Oh, this one's tough for me. Rob Gronkowski. I wouldn't be shocked if you saw him, I'd say, week 10 come back. Week 10. Chris Carson. Let's see here. We got uh, Brett Favre, Legends. Gardner Minshew again. Washington State, number to 165, yellow. I know nothing about him. Kelvin Harmon, wide receiver. I forget where he went. Jeffrey Simmons. So I really don't think that this Hinshaw guy, Gardner Minshew, I don't even think he got drafted. Let's see here. That's an interesting name, Gardner Minshew. Google knows all, thank God. Uh, it's it's not good when he's not one of the top things to come up when you write Gardner. So that's not good. All right, so um, he's a Jaguar. He is a Jacksonville Jaguar. Looks like he was undrafted. Oh, six-round pick. Perfect. Awesome. <clears throat> <laughs> so again, eh, it's like, wait. Tom Brady's a six round pick. You never know. You never know. 
All right. <clears throat> Jimmy Garoppolo, Jalen Ramsey, Lamar Jackson, Antonio Brown, number to 100, Optichrome. This is a nice one. Kyler, another Kyler, Optichrome. It's a good little card. Uh, record book, Warren Moon. We have Damien Harris, the Patriot again. Will Greer, quarterback out of West Virginia. Trying to think where Will Greer landed. Uh, wherever it was, I remember it wasn't the best landing spot for him. I actually thought the Patriots were in on him, but they weren't. Uh, Carolina Panthers, that's right. So he's not going to get any playing time behind Cam. But, you know, Cam Newton has been... He hasn't been his healthy self the past few years. He's had off-season surgery. I don't even think he's thrown a football since uh, his surgery. So uh, maybe Will Greer has a chance to get some playing time. So there is the Optichrome Kyler. All right. We have seven more packs, it looks like. Yeah, I used my teeth to open them. I don't know how the breakers do it. I'm, I'm jealous. I'm trying to figure it out, but I just don't have this, their talent yet. Antonio Brown, J.J. Watt. I have a nice J.J. Watt Bowman Sterling rookie coming in soon, so if you're interested in that. Uh, Philip Lindsay, Russ Wilson, Nick Bosa Optichrome, another nice one. Record book green, it looks like. We have Warren Moon again, so we have two Warren Moons in back-to-back -back packs. Then Chai Polite and Byron Murphy, which I believe I have both of them as well. So that Nick Bosa, that's a nice one. I think his base will probably go for two bucks on the site. So that means that his Optichrome will probably go for between three and four dollars on the site. You know, I'd say it's a pretty, pretty fair value for an Optichrome. Nice parallel. All right, so we still have one more autograph to go. Pray for Kyler. Pray for Kyler. That's really the only rookie autograph I think, you know, from a selling standpoint, I really want. Um, I'm not too excited about all the other guys. Haskins, maybe, but uh, Larry Fitzgerald, Marcus Peters, Nick Foles, Julio, another Warren Moon, Pfft, Legacy, Aaron Rodgers, Lasting Legends, Ryan Fidley, A.J. Brown. Uh, A.J. Brown was drafted to the Ravens, I believe. Not a great landing spot for him. But you know, I'm not a believer in uh, Lamar Jackson's arm. So Ben Roethlisberger, Deshaun Watson, Kirk Cousins, A.J. Green, Kellen Winslow Legends, Saquon Record Book Franchise Rookie Mark on Offense, another Riley Ridley, another Ed Oliver. So, not great. You know, to give you an idea, the Saquon Barkley would probably sell for a buck fifty on the website. His base card will probably go for a buck, and you know that will fluctuate in price. If he struggles his second year, that price will go down. If he does great his second year, that price could easily go up. Matt Breida, Melvin Gordon, Derek Carr, Darius Slay, Troy Aikman, Legends. Kellen Winslow, Legends Red, number 299. Some more Lil Jordan. Yep. And Devin Singletary. Little Jordan. Like, what a name. What a name. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right. Cam Newton. Drew Brees. Jameis Winston. Terrell Suggs, who don't forget, he's an Arizona Cardinal. Bart Scott. This is Legends. Legacy, Leighton Van Der Esch, one of the best defensive players last year, or rookies. And then we have Josh Allen and Jonathan Abram to finish off that pack. Three more packs. Should be getting at least one more auto. Hope for something big. See some shininess. Don't know if it's going to be an auto or not. Zeke Elliott. We got some more Tom Brady. We got, hold on. I don't want to. I don't want to see the auto. Let's put it that way. We have Montez Sweat rookie, Daryl Henderson rookie again, Timeless Talents, Charlie Curly Culp, from the Chiefs. I almost got really excited. <laughs> Eli Manning Optichrome. We got Baker, and then I saw 49ers. 
I saw a wide receiver. I thought it was Jerry Rice. It's not. John Taylor. Meh. You know, Hall of Famer, I believe. Actually, he's not a Hall of Famer, but he, he won a couple Super Bowls with the, uh, the 49ers. 49ers fan will be happy with that. I'm not a 49ers fan. It's probably a, I don't know, $20 card, card maybe. It's a silver, it looks like. I don't know if they're all silvers or not, but these are the two autos. Yeah, you know, whatever. Hey, if a 49ers fan wants that, I'd be happy to sell it to them. So, you know, that probably goes on the website as a $20 card, maybe $15. All right, James Conner, DeAndre Hopkins, Michael Bennett, Jamal Williams, Dick Butkiss, Legends, Doug Walt Baldwin, Red, number 299, Caleb Wilson, Rookie, Rashawn Gary, Rookie. One more pack, and then we'll wrap this up in the third box. David Johnson, Tariq Cohen, Derrick Henry, Phillip Rivers, Icky Woods doing the Icky Shuffle, Legends, Ray Lewis, Lasting Legacies, Irv Smith Jr. again, and Nick Bosa again. So, not as good of a box as the first one. Um, got the rookies, that was nice. Got the Bosa Optichrome and the Kyler Optichrome right here. Boom. Got the Bosa base, which you saw. Got the Kyler Murray base rookie. Got the Haskins and Daniel Jones base rookie. And then the hits. Just play the hits. That's all they want to say. Play the hits. We have Terry McLaurin and John Taylor. So definitely not a return on investment on that box. I'd say at best you're going to get 40 bucks for the hits. The boxes cost me about $85. I don't get that good, good... Um, Credit from the uh, distributors, unfortunately, or discount, I guess you'd say. Eventually, as we grow here at CardsArt.com. So, we have one more box, folks. One more box, and then we will wrap this bad boy up. Let's hope for some good hits. I actually got into a break today with DC Sports 87. They had a 2018 Contenders Optic Break 10 case or 10 box inner case. I got the I got the Jets. I was pumped. I got the Jets. Thinking maybe I'll get some Sam Darnold. We have a very fat pack, so that's going to be set aside here. It'll be open to blast. That is monstrous. Um, yeah, I had uh, the Jets. I was pumped. Thought I'd get Sam Darnold. Nope. <laughs> the only card I got was a Joe Theismann, whatever, Hall of Fame card or something. I think purple number to ninety nine or something like that. So. 50 bucks for that. Not too thrilled, but that's, that's you know, live and die with breaks, right? David Johnson. You know, we're not a breaker site uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Tariq Cohen, we respect the breakers. We love what they do. They support us. Matthew Stafford. Um, but that's just not the way that I want to collect or what I want to sell. I want to sell base cards. I want you to build your collection. Uh, let's see here. We got Ed Oliver, Optichrome. Steven Goskowski, Record Book. Let's see, uh, mm, franchise leader in points, David Montgomery, rookie, Jachai Polite, rookie, third one of his, I believe. I think second, third one of Montgomery as well. Yeah, we're definitely starting to see the duplicates now, which is all right. This is a 200 card set. I mean, that's fine. Odell Beckham Jr., Vaughn Miller, Leonard Fournette. Christian Kirk, Eric Dickerson, Legends, Adam Humphreys, Orange, number to 199, Byron Murphy, Ryan Finley, Rookie. Boom. Man, that fat pack. I'm excited. We'll see. I'm very excited. Kamara, Alvin Kamara, one of my favorite players. Amari Cooper. Alshon Jeffrey, Aaron Jones, Mark Gastineau, Legends, Dexter Lawrence, number to 199, gold or yellow, Benny Snell Jr., Paris Campbell, Indianapolis Colts, 
like that spot for him. Not a ton in front of him. There's, you know, T.Y. Hilton was great. Then you got like, Devin Funches, who's kind of a bum. Um, and then a couple tight ends were decent, but I like Paris Campbell to have an opportunity to be the number two wide receiver in Indy, which is a very high upside offense. So George Kittle, T.Y. Hilton, Dalvin Cook, Joe Mixon, John Taylor Legends, Terrell Davis, Timeless Talents, A.J. Brown, Riley Ridley, Rookies. Antonio Brown, still so weird to think he's an Oakland Raider, but that's what happens. J.J. Watt, Marcus Mariota, Tyree Kill, Joe Montana Legacy, A.J. Green for the Ages, Gary Jennings Jr., Marquise Hollywood Brown, rookie. Uh, Marquise Brown, first wide receiver taken in the draft. End of the first round, I think 25th overall or something like that. Again, Jack or, uh, Baltimore, not a great landing spot. I don't love that move whatsoever for them. Just Lamar Jackson can't get him the ball. So I will not be investing in him this year. Larry Fitzgerald, Marcus Peters, Tremaine Edmonds, Gronk, Joe Namath, Legends, longest touchdown run in uh, – Franchise history, record book, Nick Chubb, Dexter Lawrence, Julian Love. We're going to uh, do better with the, the quality of these videos. You know, these are still kind of just, you know, doing them on a whim. We can do better. I apologize for that. Hope you enjoy them, though. Ben Roethlisberger, Sean Watson, Chris Carson, Jalen Ramsey, Keith Brooking Legacy, Optochrome, Silver. Marlon Mack, number 299. Watch out for Marlon Mack this year. This is red. Um, they haven't brought anybody in to take uh, take away uh, any any time from him, so I think he could be a good good fit. Jarrett Stidham, Cleveland Farrell. Yeah, I mean, Marlon Mack, you thought they were maybe going to try to bring Le'Veon Bell. I thought maybe they are going to draft somebody, but they didn't. So it's, it's his backfield to lose. Uh, I picked up a few of his autos recently for pretty cheap. That's another guy I'm not investing as much in because I think he's very replaceable, but you never know. Uh, if the price, the right price comes along, I'll grab it. Matt Breida, Melvin Gordon, Lamar Jackson, Adam Thielen, Terry Bradshaw, Legends, Thurman Thomas, Timeless Talents, Terry McLaurin, and Alex Barnes, Rookies. So I think from these three boxes, we'll probably come close at least to filling up the whole set, if not getting the whole set. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, again, we, we, our, our website is going to, foundation will be base cards. Um, these cards will be available between 25 cents to a buck 50, depending on the player. So, Devonta Freeman, Kenny Stills, Marshawn Lynch, Beast Mode. Will he come back this year? We'll see. Aaron Rodgers, Rodney Hampton, Legends, Ray Lewis, Lasting Legacy, Ed Oliver, and my guy, Lil Jordan, Lil Jordan Humphrey. God, I hope he's good. That would be hilarious. i got to get his autograph. Lil Jordan. Andy Dalton, Sam Darnold, Mike Evans, Spencer Ware, Ed Reed Legacy, Howie Long, Timeless Talents Green, number 200, Devin Singletary, Josh Allen, Rookies. Oh, that's Gardner guy. Cam Newton, DJ Moore, you somebody I'm picking up? Oh, yes! Ah, oh, I asked for it and I got it. Carson Wentz, Lil Jordan Humphrey's autograph. Yeah, baby, Lil Jordan. <laughs> Greg Lloyd, Ryan Fitzpatrick for the ages, Noah Fant rookie, Gardner Henshaw rookie, Minshew. Why can't you call him Henshaw? Lil Jordan, I got him. Uh, who did he get drafted by? I got to look that up for you guys real quick. Let's see here. Lil... 
Jordan. New Orleans Saints. There you go. All right. So that's not bad. That's a good landing spot for him. Lil Jordan out of Texas. Going to New Orleans Saints. You know, Traquan Smith was the uh, the rookie wide receiver last year. He he flashed at times. So could my guy Lil Jordan, uh, could he make a name for himself? We'll see. All right, guys. We have five more packs. Thank you very much for seeing this through. Uh, I hope that the uh, the pink crystals auto wasn't the who we didn't burst our bubble in the first box. We'll see. Drew Brees, Zeke Elliott, Devontae Adams, Adam Humphreys, Wesley Walls. Kate, Wesley Walls was not a legend. I'm, I'm <laughs> I like what they're doing by bringing back like some of the some of the fan favorites, but he was not a legend. Wesley Walls was not a legend. Riley Ridley, Ridley Red. This is numbered to two ninety nine. Mac Wilson out of Alabama, Devin White out of LSU, some SEC boys. Almost done. Let's see here. All right. Todd Gurley, Mitchell Trubisky, Russell Wilson, Nick Foles, Andre Reid Legacy, or Legends, uh, Brett Favre Legends, Green up to 100, Montez Sweat, Caleb Wilson Rookies. James Conner, DeAndre Hopkins, Travis Kelsey, LaShawn Shady McCoy, John Elway Legacy, Aaron Rodgers and Lasting Legacies, Josh Jacobs from Bama, David Sills the fifth out of West Virginia. Two more boxes. Last one's going to be the Fat Pack. I think we're going to end with a bang. Eli Manning. Julio, Kirk Cousins, AJ Green, Optichrome Red. This is not numbered. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, 16 to 100. Robert Smith, Legends, Legacy, George Kittle, Rashawn Gary, and Irv Smith Jr. Rookies. All right. Last pack, nice and fat. We'll see what we get here. Hoping. For crazy response by me. Oh, that's a that's a fat one. So there it is. So there it is right in the middle. It's a big one. We got Sony. Saquon. How do I do this? Okay. Then we have AJ Green Optochrome. Record player, Paul Horning, oldest player in the book. Now this is interesting. This actually got uh see right here. It's got sealed, unfortunately. So that's an error card of sorts. Nathan Abram, rookie. Philip Lindsay. Ah, I saw it. It's all right. And Daryl Henderson, rookie. The hit. I mentioned this guy. Oh, God, Panini, really? <laughs> so it's cool. Marquise Brown. RPA, two color. We have some lettering here. Only issue is it's not even a full patch, it looks like. You can see right there. Just, they missed a little bit there, but still a cool card. Uh, Marquise Brown, first wide receiver taken. Um, this is a futures patch, I guess you want to call it, maybe. Um, yeah, underwhelming for that, that thickness. Trying to be more uh, optimistic, try to be happy about it, but you know, it's it's all right. Not numbered. Um, I wish I liked the player more <laughs> because I just think that 